I have no idea. Hi, if you liked my videos, please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week. The destination is on your left, Lynn's Quality Oysters. It's been a few years, but I'm finally back over here at Lynn's Quality Oysters, even though I'm not going to eat oysters, I'm going for the shrimp. And hopefully it's as good as I remember, otherwise it's going to be... Ugh. Wowzers macaroni. I probably had like a pound and a half of shrimp, steamed shrimp with garlic and butter sauce. Oh, so delicious. Just as I remembered from a couple of years ago. Wonderful. And then down in Bradenton, they didn't even know what uh, steamed shrimp was. Unbelievable. I ordered three pounds of shrimp and I ate almost the whole thing. You know, I ate half of it, about a pound and a half. I was tempted to get an extra couple of pounds, but I'm like, ah, I probably, I probably had enough shrimp for a while. Good morning, folks. I know, I'm always saying good morning or good evening, but it is morning, you know, and it's hopefully a good morning and hopefully you are having a good morning because I've been up since about 4 30 local time I crossed the time zone so I lost I gained I gained an hour I made myself coffee and um, oatmeal with lots of berries in it how's my hair I was brushing my teeth last night and I had the, the toothpaste on the toothbrush and Something fell, so I leaned over to pick it up. I forgot I, my hair is longer. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, I came up. I'm like, wait a minute. And I had, two, <laughs> I had toothpaste on my hair. I cleaned it off, but it, it feels like it just... I have a very unplanned trip back to South Dakota. From the nice warm weather to the nice cold weather. But I was already going through Arkansas to see a friend of mine. And, uh, and from Arkansas, from where I'm going, it's only like an extra seven, eight hours to get to where I need to go. So it is what it is. I did look at the weather coming up for the next week or so. It's gonna be like in the 50s during the day up there, I think, from what I remember, did I forget? And then at night, it's gonna cool down to the 30s and maybe 20s, so. But I think I'll survive. I won't melt, definitely. I might freeze. No, I'll be okay. Actually, I should put my pants on. I've been wearing, ah, I'm just gonna wear my shorts and flip-flops, whatever. And I gotta get gas really quick over here. I stayed at Walmart and um, got gas, got my tummy full. Time to drive a few hours. Continue straight. I'm it talking over here. Good. Hopefully it's gonna be a quick stop there in South Dakota and then, then I'll head south towards uh, Arizona. I might go Turn through. Right. I gotta keep an eye on the weather because I don't want to be caught in any snowstorm. But it could happen. I'm going north for a, for a couple days, so. And if it happens, I'll just hunker down. I gotta make a quick pit stop. I gotta pee pee, folks. I Good morning, folks. Behind me, there's a beautiful sunrise. In front of me, it's still pretty dark. I got up early this morning, had breakfast, and now I'm driving to my friend's place. And then from there, I'll continue on.
I'm definitely not in Florida anymore, folks. 31 this morning. Apparently, Robert and Michelle never heard me sing, uh, which is a shame. I wrote a song a while ago. I came up the road and I drove into a driveway. They think I can sing badly. Oh, thank you. At least, see, somebody appreciates my talent. Okay. I, I appreciate you stopping. What's with the finger in front of the camera? I'm trying to do high production over here. I convinced Rob to be on on video. He didn't want to, but I, I had I had to um, I had to show all his workmanship over here, all the stuff that he's done, and it looks so organic. I mean, it looks. Doesn't it look organic? It's it's a new word. They lo they love that word, organic. And I, and I was trying to teach him how to draw, you know, this is what I want, you know, and of course, this is what he gives me. I mean, it looks nothing like my drawing. My drawing is like, isn't that beautiful? It looks just like me. Look at that. Thank you, Robert and Michelle, uh, for having me over and Michelle's parents. Thank you very much. Very gracious of you to uh, let me park in your driveway. And... Um... Ooh, it's freezing, folks. <sighs> Ooh, I'm gonna get a little snack. Michelle was kind enough to uh, pack the leftover breakfast. I'm gonna have biscuits and turkey bacon. All organic, folks. It's all good. All right, let's go to Sioux Falls. First, I gotta put it in drive. It helps, folks. If you drive a vehicle, you, you better put it in drive because it helps going forward. Trust me, I have experience in that. little meal nothing heavy just some uh, not mango like I called it before avocado some pear some bread some water that's it very light stuff since I have to come to South Dakota I'm gonna go to Sioux Falls and get my mail hopefully I can get out of here tomorrow I may have to stay an extra day or two I don't know I'm not sure and then once I leave, I'm going to head head south. I don't know which way I'm going to go because now I'm going to have mountains in my way. So as long as the mountains are clear and good to go over them, then I'll, I'll, I'll go over them. Otherwise, if I can't go over the mountains, then I'm going to have to go around. It's supposed to be clear for the next week or two. So I think I'm going to be good. I think I'm just going to make it. Oh, 22. Morning, folks. It's 22 degrees outside. It's freezing. Where's my beach? Turning the heat on. <sighs> Come on. 
Oh, it takes a few minutes. It's cold, my windshield is frosted. But this was a good night over here at, uh, I don't even know what this is. Pilots over there. I'm just gonna go check the trailer real quick, make sure nobody messed with anything. I don't think they did because I have the alarm on and with the alarm on, anybody touches my van, the alarm goes off. So even if they touch the trailer, it still messes up with the van. It's cold, there's snow and ice on the ground. And just a few days ago, I was in shorts, flip-flops and walking on a sandy beach. I just had a freaking disaster. My wheel just broke off. And I'm over here on the side of the highway. Look at this. Damn it. I saw some smoke behind me. And I couldn't stop in time. It's freezing and this is really scary trying to change a tire on the side of the highway. I don't think I ever had a flat on the side of a highway. And this was not even a flat, this was a blowout. The tire just blew up. And now I have my fender all messed up. I'm gonna have to do something with that. I got my mail over here at the Dakota Post. Now I gotta do a couple more things including buying a spare tire for my trailer. I'm getting a new tire mounted on a rim. The rim doesn't look like it's been damaged. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna fix this real quick because it's, uh, it's bound to fall off pretty soon. Even before I could pick the right tool, I got the tire fixed. 120 bucks, not bad. But now I gotta try to secure this thing really quick before I keep going. I feel a lot better having a spare tire because you just never know. And then when I have more time, I gotta fix this a little bit better. How's my hair? I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication so that they will look on me, whom they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they will weep bitterly over him like the bitter weeping over a firstborn. Zechariah 12, 10.